Hello, welcome to my channel. So we're going to practice Beethoven's Egmont Overture today. Uh, so let's start with tuning. Let's start at the beginning. This is the second violin video. So we're going to come in. You can be on the G string. So you could be in third position or fourth position, or you can be in first position uh, on the D string. So we're going to come in, make sure you're on the string at the bridge. And then, depending on how long I hold it, that will be uh, when you'll do the diminuendo. So. Going to breathe and place the bow on the string. Okay, A flat is low one on the G string. And then lift and place. Lift and place in the lower half. And then it's going to be three. Uh, sorry, let's see what we can say. Uh, five and six. So every time it's from the string, lift, place, and then place. So the bottom there is A flat, low one, place, okay, and then again, after that we lift in place, back to the lower half, and this time you freeze at the tip, so that one will be piano. So let's play the top line here at the beginning, okay. Fingerboard to get softer and breathe. Rest, rest. Lift and place. Freeze here. Okay, and the bottom. Ready and. Okay, then the top comes in first there. This is measure five. So one, two, three. So here it's going to be A flat is low three. So they're all close there. Two and three touch across strings. And then we have a tie. So that's one, one, two, three, hook. Okay, so that's first position. You could also do, you could shift up. So you could do four on A flat. Like think of a G sharp in third position. Touch, then two would be a whole step. Hook. Okay, so that's another option. Um, we could also shift, uh, we could start in fourth position. Okay, and make sure you have a beautiful singing sound. Try to vibrate every single note. Okay, then in the measure before, let's see, measure eight, we have one, two, three. So swell and go into that B flat. So save your bow in the A flat. Then more bow, more bow. And then slow your bow down. You can go towards the fingerboard. So you want to really do that swell. And breathe together. Two, three, change your bow. Lift and place. Breathe. One and two and three. So here D flat, low three. Then low two on G flat. Then down bow on F. Now, you could also do that in third position, so and that would work out better to get to measure 15. So up bow on D flat would be a first finger, 
then fourth finger on G flat, and then three would be on both strings, and then three on F, two, four, and then D flat is two on the G string. And this is straight sixteenths here. So one, two, three. So one. My G string is not working today, so so just very tiny bows. Two, three, four, five, six. Make sure they're very even. One, so one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a five E and a six E and a. So there's always three two. We want to be counting the half notes. So one, two, three, or you can also count in your quarter notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, or you could think one and two and three and, but basically there are six quarter notes in a measure. So on the bottom, one, two, three. Okay. All right. So let's try. So if the conductor is in three, this would be the metronome marking that's marked there, so it's a 15, so one, and two, and three, and. One, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two. Or you could say one, two, three, four, five, six, one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five. Okay, and then, for the top, I think it makes sense, like I said, to be in third position, so that when you get to measure 22, your first finger on G, and then three on B flat. So then th that works well for this, so. So you don't have to cross strings. So three, whole step to four, low two, touching one. That is in first position, so low two, whole step to C, low one. Each of those is placed, right? So this is 22, five, six. Okay, and very delicate. All right, great. And so the bottom. It would make sense for you to be in first position, so at 22. So three, three, low four, low two, and again, delicate. So five, six. Okay. All right. Great. Excellent. Let's go on. So at 25, we have a tempo change. So the inside is playing C, low two, and then you can change bows. Don't change on the beat. Sneak in bow changes at a different time than your stand partner. So we have the metronome marking of 56 to 60. So here's 56. That's for the dotted half note. So one, two, three, 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 one, two. Okay, but I think we should try this much slower, but that will be the tempo. And then for the top, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so for now we're gonna practice much slower to get these bowings. So for the top, this will be a sforzando piano. So start with your bow on the string and then stay very close to the string. Not that, because if you're bouncing that high, it's gonna be out of control. So really close to the string. Now you can also do first position. So low four, then regular one, touching two. So one, two, one, two, three. Have to play that double stop. So G and B flat. That's 
for the outside player, okay? And then for the inside players at 29, pickup will be... The outside players at 36 have, okay, so we're off the string, or if you're not doing off the string yet, you can play on, but very short. You don't want to play, or it won't mix with the, so, very short, but on, so. You could do first position, make sure D flat and C really touch. You could also do second position, four, whole step to three, whole step to two, touching one. Okay, then we have 36, 38 would be one, two. Okay, so for this part at 42, every time you come from the string, so place, place. we have a crescendo so we start mezzo piano and then a little bit of crescendo poco crescendo that's starting at 48 and then molto crescendo at 55 going all the way to your fortissimo there at 58 okay so really plan that out so start less at 42 okay and then really plan it so you can have a big arrival at 59 okay great so for the inside players at 42 let's do that part so one two three 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 vibrate okay so just count that make sure you're staying on track and then at 58 You'll start down bow in that C, and then you do play the octave. So you'll have to be in third position. So one on the G string, four on the D string. Two, three, one, two, three, one. Then you could go to first if you wanted to. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. So you always want to change your bow not on a beat. Don't change it on the on the bar line, I mean. Okay, so sneak it in at a different time than your stand partner. Okay, good. So let's do 59, the top players. Again, this whole section, this is all B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. So be very careful about your pitches. I would practice them slowly with a tuner. Okay, so make sure you're really, really playing all those correct notes. So Pick up to 59. This will we'll play the top line. And everyone should learn both lines. Always learn both lines. Okay. One, two, three, one, two. Short. One, two, hook. Up, down, lift, place. E natural, D flat. Then. Swell. in third position so that would be two three and we're gonna save our bow and then use our bow and then use save you can also do less weight more weight more less rest one one two so really 
count that tie. Three, three, one, two. Third position. You could do that in first down here. Then back to your third position. Or you could do second position. One, 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 two, three. Okay? So one, two. Three, one, two. Third position. Okay. All right. And now let's do 59, the bar before. So 58 on the bottom. Ready? So find your octave. So one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Rest. Place. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Short. Swell. Swell. Okay, great. Then you're going to lift and place on the bottom. So when you finish that one at 71, place. Lower half, up, down, down, rest, up, down, down. That's for everybody at 73. So we have down, place, down, lift and place at the frog, up, down, down, freeze. And now for the bottom, you'll start on low one E flat. One, two, three, one, two, three. Forte. Freeze. Two, three, one, two, three. So when we're switching the dynamics in this edition, they're saying to freeze there so that we can all be uniform in our bow. Okay, so the top there at 73 will be the same thing from the string, down, down, place, up, down, down, place. Oh, try to use more bow on that one. And then up bow here, you can do third position. One, two, so one, whole step across strings, two, low four, three, and then lift and place, place, and the same thing. Now you could do first position, you have to cross strings twice, so it's not the optimal. That would be low three, low four, low two, one. So be really careful about these pitches here. Lift in place, and then of course, we haven't talked about it, but the G flat is low three touching the two. If you guys have heard all that noise going on in the background, that is my dog's Oh, no, now she stopped. She's going to do it when I start talking. Okay. One, before 89. One, two, three, four, five, six. How can you sleep during Beethoven? Okay, so let's do six before 89. The upper part starts uh, on an up bow at the tip, and you're going to sneak in bow changes. So ready, and uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, crescendo. One, two, three, up. So that's a hook bow. So this is for all of us. So we're going to use, try to use less bow in the first one. Save your bow, slow bow. One, two, three. Now use more bow in this one. One, two, three. So that we can make a big crescendo. Okay? In the bottom part, you can start also with the tip. And this will be F sharp. And we can be in first position. So ready? And uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, save. Now more. One, two, three. One, two, three. Really go for four times. Really go for those, okay? So place your bow and then pull your bow fast. And I lift my bow. I don't accidentally whack the up bow because the sforzando is on the down bow. Okay, now at 89, we can have these in the upper part, these triplets, they can be on the string. And you have the sforzandos at the same time as the inside part. So really bring those out. So let's try this actually in first position. So right here at 89, ready. So this will be triplet, triplet, triplet. One, two, and 
then we are off the string. So our triplets will be on, and then we will all be off at 95, okay? All right, great. Let's look at 95. So we'll be off the string here. One, again, very close to the string. One, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sando. Okay, you got the idea. Bottom is exactly the same with D flats. Make sure they're very in tune. Let's tie 95. One, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, you got the idea. Then on the bottom at 101. Uh, we have these big sforzanos on the G flat, so let's do low three for G flat, first position, low one A flat. So one, two, three, one, two. Let's do it together. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. actually do these let's do these down again so at 107 up sorry i put that out tune 107 ready and let's tune that low four d flat low two f all right right here so time tune there we go all right 107 one two three place there all right good and on top it's a flat and g flat okay at 113 111 these are very soft here in the upper part rest make sure you vibrate stay on the string very delicate there okay all right fantastic wow this piece is so long okay <laughs> I forgot we had three more on the other side. All right. All right. We're doing well. Exciting times. Okay. All right. So the same Boeing things at 115, uh, that whole section there. Okay. Then we get to 135. 135, we have a key change. So circle that. Big time circle that key change at 135. Now the tempo they give is 140. Let's check what that is in your part. Okay. Here's 144. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So that tempo would be like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's try it slower, shall we? All right. Let's try it more like 60 to start, or you can do even slower. So for the 16th, you want to use very tiny bows. Now it can sound off the string, but be on the string. So I'm just using my hands with relaxed fingers. It's most important that it's very clear. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And be very careful about the accidentals. When you have string crossings, keep your bow on the inside of the string. Okay, you could also do that on the top part. Let's actually try that in third position. So three, one, three, one, four, two, four, two. That way this next part at 141 is easier. Two, touching one, two, three, two, four. And you could also do that in first position. That would be four, three, don't try to do, please don't do that. So you could do four, three, open, one, open. Okay. So let's try that. Let's all do the top part at 141. Da, 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 da. Ready? So that would be three E and a four E and a save your bow. Up, up, down. Sforzando. 
two, three, four. Okay, so for there, right there at 147, do a double down. One, down. Don't retake. There's that one more fast. We're not going to have time. Just do down, 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 down. Tiny little down, down. Okay? It might be easier to do at 43, second position. So coming from before that, you would do a little tiny half step shift. So four on F. Four. Then four, touching three, two whole steps to one, four, four, three, one, three. Then you're not crossing strings. Four, three, one, three, four, three, one, three. Okay. All right, good. Let's uh, go back. Uh, we're still on the top part. Let's go to 140. Let's practice that down, down. So let's do 147. Ready? Three E and a four E and a down, down. C natural, B flat. You can do your first or your second. Don't use too much bow. You'll slow down. <laughs> Another down, down. Okay, and then you're gonna gradually, with the metronome, start slow and speed that section up. So I would practice, that would be one good section there to go from 135 to 155, working that up to tempo. And again, use less bows. Okay, now on the bottom part, let's look at what you guys have. So let's look at 142 on the bottom. Okay, so 3 E and a, 4 E and a. 1, 2, 3. You could also do second position, same thing. 1, 2, 3, slur up. eventually be and then these would be off okay so again that might be too tricky to do those at a fast tempo so what we could also do at 45 would be to do separate bows after the slur so we could, I would practice both so down up down slur sforzando keep them short use small bows and then these are all separate. C sharp, C natural. Okay, so let's try this now at 141 a little. So let's see. Da dun 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 dun. About this tempo. Okay, ready there. You could also all play a uh, third position would be another option. So 143. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, slur, up, up, down. Two, three, let's try separate. Shorts on or off, whatever you can do. Sforzando, two, three. These are different notes here. So this part does work best, I think, and if you play second, it's probably easier. So you could do four. Again, you can do first. So second position, though, would be one, two, three, one, oh, one, four, two, three, one, oh, one, separate bows or down, up. Now, 155, 
you need to save your bow and you need to crank this part out. Okay, so right there, low one, low two. Let's do it in, uh, let's try it in first position. Low two, low one, open, high two, touching three, touching four, touching three, and then E natural. So really pay attention to those pitches. F, E flat, D, F sharp, G, D. Okay, let's try it. 155. Everybody practicing the bottom. One, two, three, four. And accent. Do your good sortanos. Bow speed and weights. And vibrato. thinking I was going to say this would be easier in third position so here if you want to try that at 169 three one two three make sure two and three touch let's try it in third position ready and space short eighth note Stop your bow during the rest. Right there at 171. Ready and one. Stop. Up. Stop. Down. Stop. Down. Up. Stop. One. Sneak it in. And short. Space. everybody you can do first position low two so it's, they don't touch make sure you're really doing a hooked rhythm so subdivide your 16th you can also play this in second position so that would be one on C two on A so one one and then whole step whole step half step four one Then open A on that one. On the top, you can play open A and low one. Always place, pull and vibrate. Place, pull and vibrate. Circle bow. Circle bow, especially the last one. Okay? All right, excellent work. Now the top part. So we will go back to 159. Again, everybody's learning all of these. So let's try this in first position. So three E and a four E and a one. Up, 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 up. So there again, I did that fingering where I, the G A B flat, just like in the bottom part at one sixty nine. I think that's easier in one two three in third position, but you can do it. trickier for the bow okay so you can just work on that see how you can get it the most clean okay then at 161 da, 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 da. so three four 
careful with your accidentals. So these pitches are, are important. So F, if we're doing it in first position, low four, touch three, regular one, touch two, then D flat is low three touching, touch two, open, and then low one. So be careful with that. And you'll want to use your metronome to help you, especially with all these rhythms. So let's try it 159 so we can get this switch from... Sixteenths to triplets. So one, two, three, four, one. Okay, you get the idea. All right, great. So then I would take each of these sections. So the next section you could do, well, you could do 155 to the end, or you could break it into something smaller, maybe 155 to 177, and then 177 to the end, and just start very slowly and gradually speed it up until you feel very confident, especially with those rhythmic transitions. Okay, happy practicing.